Hello everyone, this is BCS Buster, and welcome back to Let's Play Wing Commander. Last time, we got to fly with the boss man the first time, uh, for the first time, and we also took out three dork ears in our brand new rapier fighter. So, let's see what's going on in the Kurosawa system today. Oh, good news. Okay, great. Hmm, apparently we sent a siege force over to the fourth planet of Kurosawa. Oh, they torched the Kilrathi communication station. Fantastic, then. So now they can't see. Ha ha ha. That means that we, uh, you know, just can blindside them, I guess. I don't know. But hey, we're up to 96 kills. All right. I only had 12 missions. Fantastic. Okay, Spirit, what's up? Konnichiwa, Maverick Sun. Do you have time to share? Oh. Well, thank you. Uh, yeah, we are doing pretty good, aren't we? I'm good to know that you're inspired. I wonder how, how her kills have been lately. Um, I'll have to check her kill scores and find out how she's doing, see how inspired she really is. They will stop at nothing to defeat me. But again, something tells me that in the future, I'll be able to handle them. How's Spirit doing? Ah, she's got 58 kills. That's not bad. Maniac still sucks with 29. I, I, I find it strange that, you know, Knight and Spirit are together. Again, the last time they were together, Spirit said that Knight wasn't very good company. So, maybe uh, Knight's got a little thing for Spirit there. Hmm. Well, I won't uh, keep you very long there, so you can uh, continue to make your moves, Knight. You know what I'm saying, buddy? Yeah, you go, boy. Lightning and I. Oh, we've got a guy on our ship named Lightning. How come I've never heard of him? Uh oh, they they got him. Shoot. Hmm. Well, when is, what ship was he flying? Well, you know, what can I say? I'm a badass. That's why I get to fly one out. All right. The barracks there, as usual. Let's see how we're doing. Yep. Still got my three medals. Okay. Let's see what we get to do today. All right. Oh, how have we been lucky? Code blue. Code blue transmission. Those aren't good. Oh, well, this is a good thing, I guess. Oh, they captured a Rolari destroyer. Fantastic. Hmm. Wait, so how can we do that? Oh, so we have to bring the, the ship in. All right, sounds good. Oh, great. Oh, good. Now we get to fly and bring a Rolari back. Yay. How thrilling. Oh, we're on the Omicron wing. Okay. Oh, man, there's asteroids. And it looks like there's no way around them. Crap. Oh well. well, I guess we could fly out and around, but eh, that's too much, that's too much trouble. Okay, once we get there, let's see, what do we get to do? Oh, just bring the Rolari back, sounds good. Oh, okay, hmm. Oh, okay, so we have to just take us some Karafi. That sounds about right. All in today's work. Alright, so let's go get that Rolari. So, out of the first zone, where we'll probably run into some asteroids before we get to that first zone. And, uh, yep, there they are. But that's good, because I get to show off my mad asteroid dodging skills, but it also looks like there's some enemies in the area. That's not good. Okay, so, now you want to wait a second, wait till the, the big asteroids get out of your way. See how they're still coming at me like that? Okay, good. Now I can start my attack. Oh, they're just salties. Oh, good. And this shouldn't take long at all. See? Waves of... Whoa! Now you gotta be careful, viewers. You get, what? Who's shooting at me? You need to be careful because in uh, this one, the asteroids can start to appear out of nowhere. So, I oh, moved. Damn. Okay, come on. Where are you, Mr. Salty? See how quick I can take some. Get back here. Get back here. See, this, the, the, the Salties have gotten a little bit better, though. They, they fly a little bit. A uh, little bit more. Not conservatively, but skillfully, I guess would be the right word. Because they're really seem to dodge my. Oh, where'd he go? So I just slow down my speed there until I get him in my sights. And take him out, just like that. So, anyways, let me take out the rest of these salty real quick. Well, and uh, I'll be right back once they're all dead. Okay, looks like Boss Man got the kill. That's okay. So, now I just need to get out of this asteroid field. So I'll do this real quick. Hopefully this won't take long. Oh, it looks like we're running up. Whoa! I hate these asteroids. I've gotten a lot better since I started playing this game at dodging them, but they sometimes can still give me a hard time, so. Anyways, let me uh, finish flying through this asteroid field and I'll be right back once I've done that. Okay, now we're good to go. That didn't take long. Okay, now, this mission has been labeled by many as the impossible mission of the game, and I'm about to show you why. Okay, here we go. We have some Grathas and they're going after the Rolari. So, we want to send Boss Man to go get him. Now, in the PC version, from what I understand, and I think this is, and I'm pretty sure this is true, 
You have on average about 20 seconds to take out these graphics or distract them enough, otherwise they blow up the Rolari. They just swarm it, and there's nothing you can do about it. In the Super Nintendo version, for some reason, it takes them a little longer, and they just aren't able to figure out how to uh, how to attack this thing. I guess the, the AI isn't intelligent enough to uh, to realize that they can just go all get them at once. So it's, it's slightly different. Um, you, see, you can see there's more fighters in the distance there. They all seem to be running away. So, we took care of that. So now we want to go meet up with the Rolari. And, uh, get good credit for that. Yep, so now we're going to start heading back to the Tiger's Claw. With the Rolari intact, just like that. Now, in the PC version, that normally doesn't happen. So, what we're going to do here is we have to come back through the Asteroid Belt. Which sucks, but that's okay. Now, in the, like I said, in the Super Nintendo version, with this Rolari on you, these, these Asteroids aren't seem to be doing any damage. Now... Most of the time, what you, what you can actually do right now is you can fly back to the Tiger's Claw right now, like, by, by, by yourself, and get credit for the mission. Now, because 90, because 9 times out of 10, oh here, I'll show you some of this. 90% um, of the people that, that play this game are going to eject in this mission. If I was playing this on the PC version, oops, I would eject as well. So what I'm going to do here is I'll show you a little bit of this, and I'm actually going to eject. Because I want to show you some of the other missions that you'll probably be playing. Um... If you're if you were to play this game on the PC, so what we'll do is here. So what happens here is the Grathas in this in this system or in this configuration keep dodging you, and they actually start to attack the the Rolari. So if you just stay long enough, either two things are going to happen. You can either just fly back to the Tiger's Claw on your own, or they'll eventually blow up the Rolari or something like that. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just go ahead and eject. Plus, uh, well, I'll show you. So to eject, hold L and R and select and start. And here's the eject sequence. Our ship blows up. And then you just drift in space for a while until you make it back to the Tiger's Claw. And there, the fun little music plays there. And there we go in our jeans. Which I've never understood why our commander outfit is a brown leather jacket and jeans. That cannot possibly be good for space. I, I think you'd freeze your ass off. That's just me. So anyways, you float for a while. And then eventually, eventually you get this seat. Oh, crap. We're going to get... We're going to get uh, ridden out for ejecting in a ship. Oh, we get a Golden Sun Award for ejecting and surviving. Sweet. I, oh, we only get one of those per, per career. Unlike those Golden Stars, which we can get a, a ton of them. So, this is why you only want to eject once in the game. <laughs> oh, by the way, I love this upcoming scene. For bravely sacrificing his bezel and endangering his life, even though there was no danger at all. In combat with the Kilrathi, in the Kurosostom, we get the Golden Sun Award. And now we've completed all the awards that we can get in this game. So, there you go. Thank you for wasting our ship. You get credit for that. And there you go. So, um, part of the other reason I want to do that is because, as a result of this, you get to go to a different system than you normally would and you get to fly with a different pilot, and that's going to be important. Um, one, on this game, because it's just cool to get to fly with them, plus it actually will be useful. Uh, it will help connect the storyline way, way down the load when I do, way, way down the line when I do Wing Commander Prophecy, but we'll talk about that more later. But we're going to complete our campaign in the Kurosawa system next time and see what's in store for us after that. But until then, this is BCS Buster signing off. Take care, y'all.